or to the quarry threshold and engage in inappropriate workplace behavior. <coughs> An expedition team found them decomposing at the formation phase a week later. Oh. At least we found out the jukebox doesn't bring corpses back when the song ends. I'm having the jukebox placed in a secure location in the executive sector. It should never have been accessible to low clearance staff in the first place. The new location security and proximity to a high traffic area will prevent misuse while still allowing for expedition teams to access it when required. See me for any further details. Okay. So there is apparently a jukebox as an object of power who is transporting you and killing you on the spot somewhere else. Sweet. Oh yeah, Twitch started the Twitch channel points test today. It looks pretty interesting. I got into... You got into the test? Wow. I haven't gotten any email about it. <laughs> Maybe I can check, but I don't think so. No. No, no. I'm not a big enough fish for them. Okay, so let me know. <laughs> let me know what you find out. I'm really curious to see what they will actually offer for those channel points. Is there already some kind of a screen that you have? What what uh, what the rewards could be, maybe, sweet? There's a disclaimer that points could reset on like the 15th or something like that, so it's probably a short test. Looks like it, so depends what they will give out for the test. Maybe nothing, maybe an emote or something. Hmm. Interesting, but happy that you got into the test. <laughs> it would be nice to, you know, know your, your experiences with it, see how you feel about it. Oh, we completed two of these countermeasures. We're gonna... We're gonna hand them in. We have something new in the hotline. Uh, Firebomb, I don't think it's size actually. My homie slammed that poetry isn't huge, but they got into it. Interesting. Can I post a link? There's an official Twitch page for them now. Hmm. Give me a second. <laughs> Give me a second, sweet. Pum pum pum, bum pum, pum pum pum, bum pum. Do 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 do. Okay. Now you should have the lovely VIP badge on you, Swee, so you should be able to post the link. Okay, Farbam, so people can use channel points to use emotes. Hmm, okay, that's interesting. Spend your points to use emotes. Maybe as a test, that's a good idea, but we'll see. So, Swee, some of the built-in things you can buy are unlocking an emote for, four, for 24 hours, or posting a highlighted message, or sending a message while in sub-chat. Okay. So fancy. <laughs> Indeed, now you have two fancy emotes. Oh, right, you got a gifted sub yesterday. You really did. Weird old man. <laughs> it was in the weird, weird old man, sorry, weird old man's badge that you got a gifted sub. And article. Damn, I feel like I'm going through half of the world to get to that page. On my <laughs> fiber connection, it took me like five seconds or almost ten seconds to load. Earning and using channel points. You know what? I will read through that later on. So, thank you very much for the info. I will read it after the stream, I believe. And since I'm not in... Maybe I will actually be educated about what comes next. <laughs> Could be nice. Could be nice. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Indeed. And Farbom, oh yeah, I saw the highlighted message and it's purple with the white text. Okay, so it's it's twitchy. <laughs> and sweet. Oh yeah, I meant to say thanks, but it doesn't look like they're here. Yep, yeah, uh, yesterday he appeared later on because <laughs> supposedly he slept for 16 hours, which was great 
And then there was a little battle between Weird Old Man and Chi Demon, gifting 20 subs to the channel, which is just awesome. <laughs> so we unlocked two new emote slots, and we are very close to next one. We actually need only three more sub points to get the next uh, emote slot, which would be so awesome. But let's see. The September is here, so maybe we can achieve that goal with some new people coming in. That would be awesome. <laughs> Firebomb, indeed, Twitch colors, yep. Yeah. Sweet, wow, that's amazing. Good on them, indeed. I, I was just amazed. It was a great moment yesterday. So unexpected. <laughs> so very unexpected. Great, so let's listen in on the Astral Constructs hotline. Okay, that's old news, I have to say. That's very old news, because <laughs> we already have three weapon forms, or three? Three. And we actually got a lot of mods that dropped. Hmm, okay. We need to sort our inventory a little bit. Okay, that's better. They actually have different benefits, even though they are the same rank. And sweet. So streamers can also create custom rewards that they fulfill on their own, such as choose the next channel I host. I think that's going to be the most interesting part. I guess. Yep. That could be nice. Hmm. Well, depends what you are capable to, to offer as a streamer that's the thing and I wouldn't really mind if you can uh, specifically earn channel points but I think the channel points would be twitch wide wouldn't they or well I haven't read the article right so if they will be channel specific that's okay I was actually thinking about using that to kind of gate the giveaways a little so that people were actually watching the stream before they are, they are entitled to enter a giveaway which many streamers do right now with with their custom currencies or loyalty points but if there will be twitch wide then i don't know <laughs> that beats the purpose no per channel okay so if there will be per channel then probably that could be one one offer in the list like hey i want to spend 10, 10 points to enter this giveaway or something because I've been watching this channel before. Yep. And Firebomb, so I see the channel points are officially our official channel channel currency. I like it. Indeed, indeed. So the concept is great and it has been here for a long time, but all the streamers had the loyalty points set up and then you need to manage them for me i kind of didn't didn't go into that because as i was mentioning yesterday probably or the day before that i set up the loyalty points and then the streamlabs chatbot changed into cloudbot and then i found out that somehow they they weren't able to be transferred or whatever and since i haven't been using them for any rewards for now i'm just keeping them in the background Everybody is still earning our our loyalty points, but uh, I think if we ever decide to use it, I will need to import it into the cloud bot of Streamlabs and try to figure out how we can facilitate using those. So I believe that comes exactly with the with the way I wanted to gate the giveaways. That would be the first thing I would I would think about. Hey, so sweet. Yeah, Firebomb, uh, pretty much just an official currency instead of relying on stream elements or whatever. Indeed, exactly. So right, exactly how I was thinking about it. This is good. I think it should be uniform and standardized. Yeah, that should have been there for a long time, but you know Twitch. 
<laughs> They're finally trying to move something around because because Mixer. <laughs> because Mixer bought Ninja. Okay. Okay, this is dodge efficiency, dodge efficiency, this is lower. Okay, I guess we have a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff. Good. We have ability points as well, so we can use the control point to level up a little. Oh, let's turn in the quests. Ammo efficiency. And... Weapon armor damage. <laughs> okay. What else can we take? Headshot tactics. Using peer skill enemies in the maintenance sector with headshots. Mold hosts. His snippers. Using peers. Kill his snippers in the research sector. <laughs> Kill his rangers in the executive sector using shatter. I think I will take headshot and snippers. Oh, wait. We're not using peers right now. Hmm. I will keep them and we will see how it goes because we were following with the with the story and with the quest right now. So we were not really swayed away from that completely. Ah, uh, farm bomb. Oh, what did I miss? Sweet. So if they expose it via an API, so Twitch extension can use your points for entering giveaways and stuff, that would be really cool. That's true. I agree with that. So if there would actually be a little bit of an extension to just, you know, click a button and say, enter this giveaway, or you would actually create the giveaway through the extension and then people could just click through and the extension automatically then, you know, spits out the winner even better spits it into the extension spits it into the chat maybe i don't know enable us to have an alert for it not really needed but would be good <laughs> yeah no two ways about it it woke them up indeed that would be optimal yeah it would be great great idea <laughs> so sweet are you into creating extensions or something <laughs> Because you maybe know your your way around a bit of coding. I'm just asking. I would never be able to do that. Okay, we can increase energy. I think I will unlock this. Yep, more launch damage. Mmm, launch damage. We can use one ability to increase... Hmm. The seize duration. Okay. That's about it. And we are almost unlocking our third personal mod slot. Think about it. The precision that would require is unthinkable. Okay, we need to go into containment and panopticon. Can we chat with Emily about it? Just a thought. We can. Jesse, when you were down in research, did you run into a Dr. Rhea Underhill? I didn't. Who is she? She was, is, a colleague of mine. A researcher studying a kind of extra-dimensional mold growing below research. Well, I don't like the sound of that. No one does. Look, I haven't heard from Rhea since the Hiss arrived. Would you mind having a look around for her next time you're in research? Of course. Thanks, Jesse. Now, what's on your mind? Okay, we have uh, a bit more conversation options, but first I'm going to have a look at chat. And sweet, I haven't yet. I've been looking into what's involved, just haven't really dove in yet. Okay, if you have the skill, then it's even better for you. But it's a lot to take in for a streamer. If you would like to stream, then what? You should manage, get the graphics done, manage the extensions, <laughs> manage your social media. <laughs> manage your videos if you record them it's a lot of stuff it it surely is like when i finished up streaming i mostly still am in a 
kind of a limbo of thinking about what to do with the stream, what can I change, how to change it. It's it's always just mind boggling about, you know, trying to improve, but I am still kind of pushed back by the fact that, hey, I need more viewers. <laughs> and that needs time. So I invest my time in streaming to hopefully get more people watching. <laughs> And that's about it. So my investments into streaming need to be streamlined and a little lower until the time that I feel I can actually reinvest something. So I really hope that time will come. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Firebomb, I kind of want to create a Twitch bot. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> Sweet Firebomb. I made one one of those for my colored lights. It's pretty cool. Just a simple Python bot, but it was fun to put together. Hmm, nice. Nice indeed. Yes, that's exactly what I was thinking. Just a fun little Python bot to mess around. <laughs> like a snake. Snake? And Sweet. Uh, the bare bones part where... We just connect to chat and listen to messages is pretty super simple. And it's all up to your cre creativity on what you want it to do. Right, for me, there is no way, because I am not into coding. I have no history of it, and I'm not going to spend half a year of trying to, to accomplish something, so I most probably would need to buy something like that. But of course you have those free bots. You have free St Streamlabs, CloudBot, and that's what I'm using right now. Okay, let's chat. Blackrock. I visited the quarry. What's the plan for all that Blackrock? The Bureau has used Blackrock almost exclusively for containment purposes. See, I say, branch out. Instead of boxes, helmets. Instead of blast shields, knives. Knives? Yes, knives! So many combat applications! Slicing, stabbing, gouging, or... Sorry. <laughs> I've been trying to get Darling to explore combat applications for years. I've got a little excited. Wow. I did not expect that from her. Interesting. This place is looking good. Arish is making real progress around here. Right? This place is a fortress. And with him taking care of operations here, I can spend more time analyzing the Hiss. I've been attempting to isolate and neutralize the Hiss resonance in blood samples, but no luck so far. So you can't reverse it? Not yet, but perhaps reversing it is too simple. See, if Hiss resonance can rewrite human genetics, then perhaps it's a question of rewriting the Hiss resonance. In theory, that could pave the way for custom human genetic alteration. I wonder how often the phrase mad scientist is used around here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, sweet. So the coolest part... The coolest part is you can use the same account bot name. So I'm still using stream elements for most of my bot. But then my bot just catching the color keyword and does its thing. So it doesn't need to be full featured or, or anything. Okay. So it's just a custom little bit. Understood. Okay. At least that's a great achievement in my eyes. Definitely, sweet. So head off to you, my good sir. Let's continue. Uh, status of HRA production. How is HRA production coming along? Better than expected. We've already made enough to get people out of a couple safe rooms. And they're here, alive, thanks to you. And we never would have lasted this long if you hadn't walked in those doors. You deserve thanks too, of course. We got this place up and running together, Emily. Okay. That was the last bit. Going. Enjoy your data. Oh, I will. <laughs> oh, you will. Okay, nothing new in the room. 
Intriguing. Mm, a lot of detail on these. By the way, did I mention that the game looks amazing? <laughs> because the game looks amazing. Even though I don't have a 2070 or any RDX enabled card. It looks amazing. Alright, where do we need to go? Missions. What loadout? Oh, we got new mods. So this is headshot damage and this is just pure damage. Hmm. And exclusive to shatter, spin and grip, ammo and fish ammo efficiency. Damn diddly am. Missions. Locate Dr. Underhill below Central Research. Let's let's try to go for that. Because mostly with these missions we got new powers. So uh That's that. <laughs> Sweet. So how's Danny liking the game? Good question. It was kinda silent, so I don't know. Maybe no time to to watch it. <laughs> Old growth. So Jesse learns of the active threshold below central research and the researcher named Dr. Underhill working there. We need to go whoops to central research. You heard, right? She's the new director. Indeed, we are the new director. Research sector. There we go. Control points allow you to upgrade your abilities and construct new powerful forms for the service weapon, indeed. As we already did. I'm keen to see if there is another uh, weapon form. But I guess three or four is just enough. Okay, central research. That's odd. Below. So we need to go through the... Oh, right. Let's kill them. Where did that come from? This ball is actually the thing that's, you know, healing them all, or regenerating them. So it's not effectively a heal, it's just quicker regen for all of the enemies. And, yeah, they are saying the incantations or whatever. Okay, is this the area? We tried to go there before, but there was nothing for us in there, and we couldn't move further. So I guess now there is the possibility to, to find out what's happening. go and down we go and there is gonna be a few unpleasant enemies over there we are in the middle of turlets all the toilets Nothing new around here. Careful in there, 
area is under quarantine. I wouldn't go in there without talking to Underhill first. Even if you have, I still wouldn't go in. Hmm. I was actually going to kill them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was the wrong button. Wow. Excuse me. Are you lost? Shut up. Alternative perspective regarding thresholds utility research. Summary, Dr. Darling's recently penned essay titled Redacted contains some glaring omissions that I feel I must shine a light on. Firstly, the entire premise of the essay is that the quarry threshold is beneficial to the Bureau while the mold is actively hostile. To use his words, we cannot determine the worth of these dimensions and their life forms using bureaucratic definitions. Secondly, the mold is much more beneficial than some rock. If the redacted creating the mold were reconfigured in their purpose, the structures they could build would rival the greatest skyscrapers. The mold's resistance to various strains of disease we've attempted to introduce could be derived into redacted. Yes, admittedly, the application is more difficult than picking up a rock and gluing it to a wall, but I pause to wonder when the Bureau lost its eagerness for a challenge. Refer to file 235-1863 for full report. Hmm. Right? Anything else lying around? Nope. So we're gonna have a chat. Do you normally barge into people's private workspaces? Shut up. She clearly doesn't know who she's talking to. Shouldn't you be in a safe room? Why? Because of those his things the rangers keep going on about. Haven't you people sorted that out yet? The situation down here could spell doom for the Bureau. You mean this mold? Correct. Perhaps you could help me. I require samples of various mold strains, and the mold has made the environment far too dangerous for me to fetch them myself. Really? Mold samples? I thought this could spell doom. It could, and it will, whoever you are. The mold is spreading. We need to find the source before it spreads too far. Any samples will do that? No. Samples of five unique strains, when blended properly, will allow you to travel deeper into the pit where I've pinpointed the approximate location of the source of the mold. Okay. So, what do these samples look like? Similar to the one on my table there. I've made a list of the samples I need. Here. You'll find them throughout the threshold. I'll take a look. My name's Jesse, by the way. I'm sure it is. <laughs> so British and so rude. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Old Growth collect five mold samples for Dr. Underhill. Type A grows near fresh corpses. Okay. Type B grows near toilets. We just saw that, right? Type C grows near televisions. <laughs> and type D grows near staircases. And E grows near the pit. Splendid. Okay, let's talk more. Have you worked at the FBC very long? Not long enough to understand their inane methodology. They want me to solve the mold, but how is one to solve anything when the basic molecular structure of this fungus is an utter enigma? Oh, sorry, are you asking me? It's rhetorical. The Bureau wants to control, not comprehend. But to answer your question, I'm a seasoned threshold researcher that's been brought in on a provisional basis to resolve this matter. That's all you had to say. Hmm. Mold? What have you learned about the mold? Firstly, the term mold is a gross oversimplification used only to ease communication. That said, the mold itself appears to be the product of complex microorganisms. They spin the mold, building structures like minuscule cities, swiftly colonizing our dimension. And the speed of 